Oh, there's everybody. Hi, Chow. Hi, Candace. Hi, Margaret. Hey, Lee. Hi, Sandy. Ryan, hey Maria, Carmen, Caroline, Linnea, Patsy, Patty, Diana, Melanie, <laughs> Crafting Queen, V, Wendy, Carolyn, so many of you guys, Stacy. Judy, me too. Yes, me too. Hi, Crystal. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. Sorry, my cousin is texting me. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -mm. So, <clears throat> just so you guys know, how long have I had the Cricut Joy? A couple months now. <coughs> my um, my mat lost its stickiness, and I did the same thing that Crafting Queen did, and I took some Zig Two Way glue. This one's from um close to my heart, but it's the same thing. <clears throat> and I smeared it on my mat about two hours ago. <clears throat> Somebody sent me money already? Who's sending me money? <clears throat> Thank you, crafting queen. Oh my gosh, girlfriend. <clears throat> I'm dying here. Um, But she, I did this on my mat and it's back to being sticky again. I just did one light coating. So Thank you, Crafting Queen, because I totally forgot about that. <clears throat> and now my mat is nice and sticky again. <clears throat> I'm totally dying here. I need a drink. <clears throat> Leah, bring your mama some iced tea. I think she's upstairs, though, so she can't even hear me. <clears throat> Hold on. My cousin is buying a car, and he's been texting me for, like, the last three days. And I'm just like, <clears throat> dude, <clears throat> use your own instincts here. You bought enough cars than I have that you should know if this is a good deal or not. <clears throat> oh, Stacy, they were like, where is Stacy and Tracy? Where is Stacy and Tracy? And I was like, I don't know where Stacy and Tracy are. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Hi, Marco. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so I know I might have to in a minute because I totally went down the wrong side of my throat and it's like killing me now. <clears throat> but he tries to call me and I'm like, hey, I'm about to do my YouTube live. Can't really be your car advisor right now. But anyway. Anyway, hello, happy crafty people, all 40 of you that are here. Thank you for the six thumbs up so far. Um, it's not snowing, Ryan, but it's raining pretty badly today. And I was on a Zoom call earlier and it kept cutting out on me because of the internet. So the warranty is 2000 The car is 10000 <clears throat>
<clears throat> sorry. I'm so sorry. Hold on. I just need to get him off of the phone here. Okay. I apologize for that. <clears throat> um, yeah, no snow here, but it is getting pretty chilly out. It's definitely rainy, yucky, internet kept cutting out. So <clears throat> I'm glad I did not turn off the heat in the house for sure. <clears throat> um, all right. So a couple things. Um, we talked about the mat. Um, what was I going to tell you guys? Oh, duh. Creative Vision stamps. Ten new foiling colors. What? So I guess uh, they're going to be released next week, it looks like. <clears throat> so I did do... I did order them. <laughs> of course I did. <clears throat> I ordered them. I also ordered myself the turtle stamp. I also ordered the pug stamp for my very special friend, Lee. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Did I tell you guys yesterday I also ordered some kitchen sink stamps to put in the giveaway? So, I'm just waiting for those to show up. So, yeah. Also ordered, if you guys did not check out the Not Too Shabby Shop, you can check out my link. The Not Too Shabby Shop has some of the new My Favorite Things release. There's a little gnome set in there. So I ordered that from the Not Too Shabby Shop. <clears throat> but you can check out my links on the um, Facebook group. <clears throat> okay, I think he's gone for now. <clears throat> All right, so um, Lee sent me this beautiful stamp set. This is called Fabulous Flamingo. I couldn't use it yesterday because I had cut my paper too short. <clears throat> so I'm going to stamp it out again and look at how beautiful it came out. Very, very easy to layer. So pretty. <clears throat> Stacy, they were out of control yesterday. There was talks of cock and asses and all kinds of stuff on there. And I was like, what are you guys talking about? Where are my admins at? But I feel like if you were here, Stacy, you probably would have encouraged it. <laughs> <clears throat> Something about Ryan's treats. I mean, it was just out of control. Dessert, you know, stuff. <laughs> all right so i cut down a little piece of uh, nina solar white 80 pound of course this is cut to four and a quarter by six and a quarter <clears throat> we're gonna stamp it out again i'm gonna use my larger tim holtz platform just because this is a bigger stamp <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. We were talking about magic mushrooms. <laughs> it was it was a little out of control. <clears throat> it was. Oh, he would be pretty cool. Well, there's a die. I can cut him out on a die, too. So there's a little die. We'll try the die after. Let me see. Usually when it's a die that's this big, it's easier to die cut first and then stamp. And the reason for that is, is because when a stamp is this big, a lot of times it will shift a little, but this looks like it would match up pretty good if we were to cut it out. <clears throat> um, and I'll link these for you guys. On yesterday's video, I did find the dessert stamps and I linked those for you guys. Um, Craft Stash had some and I found some on Amazon for you. Oh, speaking of Amazon. Those of you who have not purchased the Mini Mink, and I know a lot of you guys are taking advantage of Laura's sale and getting the new foils, it is absolutely worth the investment of getting a mink. $39.99 for the Mini Mink on Amazon. I put the link in our group. I do not mind if you need to leave here and go purchase one of those because that guy last time, he only had the sale up for like two days and then took it down. So <clears throat> those of you guys who want a Mini Mink, $39.99 is a steal. Go get one. Hi, Denise. <clears throat> All right, so this is a layered stamp as well, and it does tell you layer one, two, and three. So we're going to start with the most solid layer, which is layer one. 
<clears throat> and this guy is pretty easy to stamp out. And I'm going to be using some Altenew inks today. These are inks that I have in my stash. These are the full-size ink pads. And I do have some sticky grit underneath here. I'm just going to put a little magnet in the corners here. <clears throat> All right. So the first color I'm using is peach. I think it's peach perfect. Yes, it is peach perfect. <clears throat> Hi, Charlotte. Hello, Vincente. Yes, we are in the U.S. <clears throat> Where are you, Vincente? Oh, Gloria, what's for dinner? <clears throat> I just asked Leah if she wanted dinner. She told me no, although she had yesterday's leftover Parmesan chicken for lunch, so she's not hungry now. I think I'm going to make spaghetti for dinner tonight. <laughs> Tell them you'll make some nice Mother's Day cards. What's Jimmy John's? Is that hot dogs? So it sounds like to me, hot dogs. All right, so the first layer doesn't need to be exactly perfect because it really gets covered up. <clears throat> uh oh, your UPS package was delivered. Is this the package? Oh! I need to do an unboxing. I forgot. Oh, there's a package on the door. Hold on. Hold, please. I must holler for my child. Leah! <laughs> I'm going to do another layer of this. There's a package on the front door, babe. Package, front door. <clears throat> What did you guys send me? I have like a big box behind me I have to share with you guys. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, we're going to leave that. So I, bit, I originally bought these ink colors for my friend's wedding. I made her wedding invitations a few years back. And then I really didn't have any, I really didn't, I don't, I'm not like a peachy pink kind of girl, right? I'm like a hot pink kind of girl. I'm wild like that. Anyway, so when I saw this flamingo set, I'm like, oh, I have the perfect inks for these. So that's layer one. Layer two is this guy here, which is still very solid. And you want to line him up. You want to make sure you line up his body, his legs, his body again, his legs again. Yes, this is what we got to do with stamps sometimes. You got to shimmy, shimmy left, shimmy, shimmy right. what we do we get down and we pate with the rubber stamps here okay a little more that way a little more this way until you think you have it Yes, I had to do this earlier. Sometimes it's worth it, though. Okay, I think I got it pretty good. <clears throat> All right, next color is rouge. I watched Underworld today. Love that movie. So I watched part one. So then tomorrow I'll have to watch part two. And then the next day I'll watch part three. So this color is going to cover up most of layer one. So don't worry about it being too perfect. See, that looks pretty good. I don't need to add another layer of that one. <clears throat> And 
then for layer three, <clears throat> it is our most detailed layer. This is what's going to give our flamingo the detail and the life. And again, you got to shimmy a little bit on this one. But this one's less shimmying the second, than the second one. The second one took more to line up than this first one. Than the, the last one. I would probably even say <clears throat> start with the second stamp and then stamp the first and the last layer. You know, you can do that. You don't have to stamp these in order. You can stamp them in any order you want. So Lee and I discovered that not only do we have an owl living in a tree behind us making these hoo-hoo noises, -hoo no All right, am I here? Because my internet's been giving a problem today. Can anyone understand what they're saying? Who's saying what? Oh, Stacy. Yeah, mm hmm. I agree. Oh, Stacy took care of that. Okay. Am I back? I'm back. Okay. Stacy, did you take care of our new friend? No, I don't have my old watch back, but I got um I got battery for this fossil watch. He's pretty. <clears throat> All right, as I was saying, <laughs> my internet all day today has been in out, up and down. It's driving me crazy. I'm so sorry. Um <clears throat> but I was saying that not only do we have this bird owl in the backyard hoo 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 all day all night now we have what's called a morning dove and it's not like in the morning dove it's um m o u r n i n g i don't know why they call it that but we were watching it today on the deck and it fluffs up its chest as it makes this this you know its little cooing noises <clears throat> all right so the last and final color is called coral berry and this is what really makes this flamingo come to life. This third layer, this third color, really take this flamingo from just a stamp to a beautiful stamped image. <clears throat> oh, he just looking at T-R-O-L-L. -L. Yeah, my internet no working so good today, you guys. <clears throat> Ta-da! Look at that. Okay, Stace, you go ahead. <clears throat> I hear you. I love the recipe you sent me on Facebook today, by the way. Yep. Yes, and then there's one more tiny little stamp. <clears throat> you don't have to reset Candace. You just have to go to settings and change your um, YouTube viewer settings to a higher um, quality, that's all. Then we have this tiny little one which just goes on his beak. This is by far the easy, I have a few flamingo stamps. This is the easiest one I have ever tried. And all you line up here is his beak and his eyeball. <clears throat> and then we're just going to take a little bit of black. Connie, I feel like that bird is. I'm like, shut up and go away. <laughs> Now look, he's done. See how simple that was? <clears throat> now, I don't just want the recipe. I would like some samples sent my way. <laughs> Stacy. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
All right, so then there are some really cool sentiments in here as well. And yes, these are photopolymer. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Let me read you these sentiments. These are so cute. You're fabulous, darling. Be yourself. Congratulations. I'm take I'm tickled pink that we're friends. Be a flamingo in a in a flock of pigeons. You look totally flamazing. And then happy birthday. And then on this one here that says, oh, I'm tickled pink that we're friends. There's a little tiny line here that says everyone else was taken. <laughs> or you could say be yourself. Everyone else is taken or whatever. So that's so cute. Um, and then there's a little flower if you wanted to do the flower. But I like that it's a large bird. You can get the die with it. Or you can, I think you can purchase the die separately. I don't know if it comes with it. I think the die is separate. Um, so, yeah. Super cute. Love it. So, now I have some fabulous flamingos to send to my fabulous friends. All right. Uh, let me do some unboxing for you guys. I, like, totally forgot. I got all wrapped up in doing my flamingo. Hold on. <clears throat> Stacy, where'd your new friend go? <laughs> Okay, I'm moving my camera up a little bit. I got a beautiful box today from Bernie. Thank you, Bernie. I was totally not expecting everything she sent. She told me she was sending a scan and cut mat. Well, it wasn't just a scan and cut mat, you guys. Hold, please. So once again, a lot of these things will be donated. Oh, I got cards today too. Um, a lot of these things will be donated. Did I show you guys these cards? I don't know if I showed you these cards or not yet. I think I did. This one's from Sue, who also donated a whole bunch of things um, to the giveaway. Thank you, Sue. And then this one's from Cindy. I think everybody needs to go through that recipe in our book. This one is really cool because it has that shimmer on there. Um, this one I got from... Hold on. I love this one because she definitely used the Cricut to do this. Oh, this is from the other Nancy. So the other Nancy made this card, beautiful card. I believe this is a Stampin' Up! set. But she wrote in the in there with the, I think it's the pen and the Cricut Joy maybe, or some kind of electronic system with the pen. So that is cool. Love it. So thank you, Nancy. And then I got an extra card. Oh, here's Bernie's card, which blew me out of the water. So she did the alcohol ink background with the um, alloys, I think that is. Bernie, I love this. So gorgeous. And he's popped up, the little fish. He's gorgeous. Okay. And then Bernie sent this card for Leah. Look at this, Bernie. So gorgeous. Leah was like tickled pink about this card. I mean, it's got... I don't know if that's like shimmer markers or watercolor markers in the background. And she colored this. It's so beautiful. Look at her blending, her shading. I'm blown away by this card. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then I got another fun card from <clears throat> Renee. And Renee sent me a cute little letter. Renee is friends with Stacy. So... Stacy, this is your Renee. Love it. Lots of dimension on this card. I love the ideas that you guys come up with. Okay. And then I got this one from Lee. I don't know if I showed this one to you guys, but um, he did this shaker card. So cute. And also a lot of dimension on this one, too. <clears throat> so thank you, everybody, for the beautiful cards. I love them. 
All right. <clears throat> All right, let's see what Bernie sent in the giveaway. So <clears throat> she sent two of these platforms. So these are great, especially when you're doing large stamps. <clears throat> this is a stamping platform. And it has these little spongy feet at the bottom. So when you have your stamp on here, for example, this large flamingo. Let me just pull one of these off. I love you guys posting all the cards and I get to see them all. Yes. It's so nice to see so many different ideas and concepts and um, yes, agreed. So you stick the stamp on there and then you just press down and it gives you nice even pressure, especially when it comes to the, these larger stamps and then pops back up. So this is a very large stamping platform Bernie sent. So <clears throat> Leah said she gets one since Bernie was nice enough to send us two. One of these is going to go in the giveaway. Oh, you guys, the box Bernie sent, I cannot even tell you guys how much is there. Yeah, I pressed it into the glass. <laughs> So, thank you, Bernie, for those. So, we have two of those. Um, let's see what else is in here. Um, diamond press. Diamond. Yeah, diamond press. All right, look at this card. Bernie, did you make this? I'm keeping this. Okay, so this is a magnetic closure, first of all. Hi, Jen. Look at this. I need to take a class on how to make a card like this. Like, I was just like blown away. Look at how beautiful this is. And then it opens. So there's little, little cards in here that come out. It's almost like a mini scrapbook. And then this opens. And then there's more. And she inked all the edges. I mean, this is just, this had to have taken so much time, Bernie. And then open it up again. And another pocket with some more cutouts and things in there. I love this. I love it so much. It's really like a little mini scrapbook. Yes, Bernie, please do a class. Graphic 45. I love it. It's gorgeous. And then there's a set of markers in here. Um, Leah is trying to grab these markers, so we'll see if they go in the giveaway or if Leah will get them. Hi, Karen. But we're not done. There's still more. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, there's a whole bunch of Crafters Companion stamps here. <clears throat> Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Um, things turn out best for people who make the best out of the way things turn out. I love that. Feathers appear when angels are near. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. Hope. There's a uh, 3D embossing folder. This one's called Seamless Wave. Uh, another embossing folder. This one is beautiful. It has flowers at the top and then this kind of like... Um, Fencing in the background. It's called Rambling Rose. And then another one of the Paris ones. Well, hold on. There's still more. Okay. Some more. Um, this is so lovely. This is um, clear acrylic stamps. So these are silicone, but they have like a sewing theme with them. So there's a pin cushion, some ribbons, a measuring tape some safety pins, scissors and thread, and then it says homemade. Here's another one with a mannequin, an old sewing machine, some thimbles, some scissors. So if you are somebody who is into sewing embroidery, this is beautiful. Needle craft embossing folder. Mannequin uh, sewn with love embossing folder. And this section has a little die. So this is a cut and emboss folder. So this cuts out. Same with this one. This is oh so cute. 
Um, this one is Festive Bow, very pretty card, which has an internal, uh, this would be cu cute, uh, cut out of um, foil cardstock and an ex external die there. Wait, there's more. <clears throat> I'm telling you, the box she sent me was huge. Okay. Um, this one is a poinsettia a die, just like the other one, where it cuts out the inside and the outside. And that's so you can make like this dimensional card without cutting out the whole thing. So you can cut the internal part on the card and then just do the external on the outside there. Very pretty. Um, some Christmas stamps. This looks like a layered stamp set where you can do some snow, the trees, lots of um, decorations and baubles and stuff for the tree. This is really cute. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Yes. Um, a nice winter wonderland. Ooh, Star of Bethlehem. I live near the town of Bethlehem. Die. And some more Christmas themed stamps so those all of this big stuff is all from bernie and then i got this guy here let me move this stuff out of the way here so thank you bernie you guys have been so generous bernie sue lee bonnie all you guys that have sent stuff i'm just like wow okay so this i ordered um, this is a photo box. So I have not tried this yet. We're going to do this together. So as you guys know, I'm part of a couple of design teams. And when I take pictures of my cards right now, I just kind of put them, um, in a box and just kind of take pictures of them. Well, this is a photo box that came with these different color backgrounds, which is pretty cool, but I wanted to assemble it in front of you guys and see what we thought about it. Okay, I wanna open it now. How do we do that? If anybody has any of these, I will um, definitely take some input here. Yes, we're a very chatty group. Lots of chatty Cathy's in here. Um, how do you open this? Anybody? Bueller. Bueller. I'm like, do I just pop this thing open? Pull the sides out. Okay. See, I knew somebody in here was going to know. <laughs> it's easier said than done. <laughs> I can't. All right. Here we go. Making progress. Okay, she says, it feels like you might break it, but it's strong plastic. All right, I'm going. Okay, got one side. You just kind of have to bend it. Okay, here's the other side. All right, here we go. We're, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's plastic, but it has LED lights built into it. So then you assemble it by just buttoning the sides. And it's a box. It's a photo box. I'll admit, I saw it on Instagram and was like, what's that? <laughs> Damn social media. <laughs> so we'll see if it works and if it's worth it. And if it is, hey, maybe a couple of you guys get one. And if it's not, then we all knew that it's not. And only Nancy spent the money on it. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to keep buttoning the sides up here. 
Oh, there was a buttonhole that I was supposed to do before I buttoned that side. Okay. I'm a learning. Uh, these buttons are not easy to put together. They're like the old... There we go. The old blue jean buttons, like back in the day, man. Once you snap them, there's no unsnapping them. Okay. I believe it is all snapped. Okay, so... It's a big box. Let me move you guys up, hopefully, if I can try to move you up here. Yes, so there are these two strips. There's a strip in the back and a strip in the front that are LED lights. There's a little hole here. And what you do, I'm going to pull you guys off the camera mount so you can see it, is you plug in. It came with a little LED plug. I mean, a USB plug. But I don't see where the, where does that plug in at? Where's the end of the plug? So it looks like this is a little camera hole if you wanted to take shots from down from here. And then these little things are backgrounds that you can put in different color backgrounds, which is cool. So there's white, there's black, there's red, there's green. Okay, so there's different backgrounds. And then there's a little USB cord. Put it together and send it to me, she says. No, I will find a link and then I will send it to you. And then you you have Mr. Mr. Uh, Crafting Queen help you put that together. All right, I see where the cords are. Ah, okay, so there is a tiny little clip here. There, we just plug that into there. I got my little USB box here. Same one I use for my quill. Whoa, you guys, that is so freaking bright. Oh my God, I'm blinded. I need sunglasses. And it lit up both of them. So you can plug it in the front or you can plug it in the back, back there. Wow, that is super bright. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, <clears throat> set this up. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take you guys off of the stand there and show you what it looks like. Hold on. Wow, and this is the medium size. I probably could have got away with a small. Now that I think about it. Hold on. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh this stinking internet all right am i back can you guys see it all right so it is pretty big that's a big five by seven card on there that's the card lee made me so look at how big that card is and those two strings of lighter up there I'm going to uh... You guys, my internet is not cooperating today. Yeah, so if you wanted to do staging, but you can see the two layers of lights there. Yeah, it did come with two. And then if you wanted to take a photo from the top, it has like this little like sneaky trap door here. Oh, 
Is it connected? It says I'm live, but I can't see anything. Oh my gosh. My, I'm really, I'm about to go. Seriously, you're right, Bernie. Like my neighbor's about to hear it. Okay, I'm back. Okay, well, I took my phone off the internet and I put my, let's just say we're probably not getting our hours worth tonight, you guys. It's driving me crazy. Sorry. Anyway, here's the box. <laughs> it's from the Flashery. This is the medium box. I do believe it was $49.99, but I had a coupon for it. Um, and yes, it does have different color backgrounds. I'm trying to do this fairly quickly now so that... <sighs> I'm not dealing with this crap all day. Um, let's do the black background. And then I'll bring the camera back down. It's Stacy, you don't understand. It's been so aggravating. I was on a Zoom earlier today and it cut out like six times on the Zoom. All right, so it has these little hinges in the back and I will show you guys. And then you can just kind of, I'm just gonna stuff this back there. And I'll take you guys down so you can see it. All right. So then you have, see it has these little different backgrounds. And then there's little hinges up top there, which you poke to hold it down. And then you put your card in there. And you can take pictures. So, yeah, I think it's super cool. I love the lighting because that's the problem. I have the most. See, there's two strips of LED lights. And then, like I was trying to tell you guys, is there is a little peaky hole here. So if you wanted to take a picture of it like this, come on, you could do that. Plenty of lighting. So I think this is cool. And um, I think it's going to help with my pictures when I'm doing design team stuffage. So yeah, there we go. Yay. Thank you, Richard. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And be, the fact that it works on a little USB little box, um, yeah. That's about where I'm about to be, Tracy. So, so irritated right now with this internet. But I will find that and I will link it for you guys as well. Um, my buddy Lee made me that card. What are you guys doing? I don't know. My internet all day has been messed up. I've never had this many problems before. Um, it just keeps kicking me off and then reconnecting. So, um, yeah, I'm going to think I'm going to call it an evening here, guys. But thank you guys for hanging out, watching me make the little flamingo cards. And looking at all the fun stuff Bernie sent us. And um, don't forget the 10 new foil colors are at Creative Vision Stamps. I was going to do the drawing tonight, but I think we should probably wait until tomorrow because I don't want to take the chance of doing the drawing and then the internet shuts out. So if you have not entered the drawing... You want to go to the Creative Vision Stamps Mega Box Unboxing and comment what is your favorite color of Creative Vision Stamps foil. And then you will be entered into the drawing to win a Mega Box being sponsored by Creative Vision Stamps. And it will be sent to you directly from Creative Vision Stamps. So... Yeah, who wouldn't want that? Unfortunately, it is for U.S. residents only. We cannot ship that box anywhere else because the shipping would be way too much because that box has a lot of stuff in it. I mean, a lot of stuff. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, please check it out. It's foiling and stamping fun. I would love to do this longer, as you guys know, but I'm really agitated with the internet today. <laughs> Tracy, keep that snow to yourself. I will link this stamp for you. I will link the, um, the group. Stacy just did it. Awesome. So that's the group foiling and stamping fun. At the end of this video, I will link the 
mega box unboxing so you guys can comment on that video and then tomorrow night if the internet is cooperating which it should be because it gave me enough problems today we should be able to do the um we should be able to do a giveaway on here and we are 50 away let's check out and see what the actual number is hold on how many are we away from get starting to give away the good stuff here hold on We are 48 subscribers away, 14,952, 14,952 subscribers. So we are 48 subscribers away. So share, 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 so we can get 15,000 subscribers, so we can start giving away some of these goodies. And then I think tomorrow night we'll pick us a winner. Oh, be quiet, Stacy. <laughs> Stacy said she posted the recipe on our foiling and stamping. Make sure you guys check that recipe out. It is delicious. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Virtual hugs to everybody. Stay safe. Don't go ripping the internet out of the wall. I'm sure it's probably weather related or coronavirus or something like that. I'll link this stamp set for you. I will link the um, photography box for you guys. And um, I will link Creative Vision Stamps website because there's 10 new foiling colors. All right. Okay, guys, don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you guys all for your support. Thank you for putting up with this crappy internet today. Uh, Lee, I'm going to look. I'm going to see if I can find one for you because I think I got 20% off mine. So I'm going to look for you guys. Thanks, you guys. Crafty, crafty virtual hugs. Bye, y'all. We'll see you guys tomorrow night.